Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick review for you on the Artisan Indigo Ballpoint Pen from Craft Supplies. This kit sells for, I believe, $12.50 in chrome and $14 in black titanium. It's made by Deacom. And uh, just a note to say that if I do a video on a product, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's because I like it or recommend it, but I just want to bring the information to you for your own consideration. just want to show you guys quick what's in the bag here before I show you the assembled pen. There's a brass tube obviously I already have that in the uh, in the pen blank. We got a clip here. It's stamped Deacom. This is a Deacom kit and it's uh, got a nice style and it's got a little roller wheel down the bottom which that's a matter of taste. It does actually roll, um, but you can kind of take it or leave it. I would prefer this kit didn't have that little roller ball, but uh, it is what it is. That's the, that's the kit. Pretty s nice ring on top there. Pretty sturdy. And then the finial piece has uh, lines in it. It's not really easy to tell from the picture on the website, I don't think, but on the top and on the side, it's got a little etched line detail into it. Really solid um, piece, nice black titanium coating. And then it has the uh, lower assembly that all screws together and then slides up into the pen, the transmission, of course unscrews, then of course the ink and the spring inside. The ink is marked Deacom, Parker style as usual, and then the lower nib piece unscrews from this as well. Here's the center piece where the ink goes inside and here's the nib piece. It also has that same line design in it. I don't know if I can get a good shot of it, but it's got lines down to it, through it. So a couple of things to note about this pen. It takes a 3 8 inch uh, drill bit for the tube and the tube is just shy of three and seven eighths inches long. It's uh, a pretty long tube. It's actually, uh, this is the Zen roller ball and the pen is a similar length, but if you line up the blank material, it's actually more um, material on the indigo than there is on the Zen. So it's a lot, it's a, it's a pretty big, um, blank. Here's a Sierra uh, Elegant next to it for, as far as size. So the size ends up being a similar length actually to a lot of other pens, but it has a really long amount of blank material. So definitely only one uh, of these per standard five inch pen blank. You're only going to get one uh, obviously pen out of this and then some uh, some little bit of leftovers um, with that. The way that this kit goes together, and you could see it from the uh, the parts that I had there, it's less critical on exact tube um, length than um, some other kits because it's all integral, where the uh, where the ink is and the transmission all is one piece that's then slid up and and locks into place here as it slides into the back. Now I think you can probably pull the whole thing apart, but it's really tight and the instructions recommend unscrewing the uh, nib, the front portion, to change the ink. And so you can unscrew that and you have your, your ink and your spring um, right in there with that. So that's the recommended way and that's how I plan to do it. Uh, now to, to operate this pen, you also turn this bottom part. So you can hold it and turn the whole you know barrel of the pen or you can hold the barrel of the pen and turn the the bottom nib section, but that's how the ink uh, advances and retracts. So you want to be aware um, of that. Now this uh, has its own set of bushings available, but I found that the long click uh, bushings that I have, I had I have some turn between centers long click bushings made a while ago, and they fit perfectly for this kit. Uh, that's also a three eighths inch tube, and the size is just it's really a perfect fit on both sides with those bushings. So if you have long click bushings, take a look at those. They may work really well uh, with this particular kit. Now, 
there's a kind of a difference of opinion so far that I've uh, encountered as far as the style of this kit, and I and I feel that way myself with the roller um, on the clip. Um, I don't know that it goes with the simplicity of the kit. Otherwise, it's like taking a very basic kit and then adding like a kind of different element to it. And so it's really going to be a matter of taste um, as far as if you like this uh, this kit or not. Also, the price you know is a consideration as well. But it's another single tube kit, which I like. It's half the amount of turning and work overall as a uh, as a two tube kit and the quality is really excellent um, pretty much every kit that I've had from Deacom uh, as a supplier uh, has been a great kit the uh, things you can't really see in the pictures the little bit of uh, lines and stuff the detail on the top and in the bottom are actually nice it feels it's it's nice when you turn it to have those little lines in there because it gives you something to kind of hold on to it's a comfortable pen in the hand um, very nice to write with so I uh, just wanted to give you some information about this new kit and it may be for you it may not be for you but hopefully uh, that helps you a little bit if you have any questions please leave them below and I'll be happy to answer it if you want to see more reviews and videos like this about turning etc please subscribe and have a great day